Let us now take a quiz to test our understanding of the entire discussion on not-for-profit organizations. Which of the following is to be recorded in an income and expenditure account? A. Purchase of building B. Sale of building C. Profit on sale of building and D. All of the above Which of the following is to be recorded in an income and expenditure account? Purchase of building, sale of building are both capital items. Capital does not go to income expenditure. Therefore, correct answer is profit on sale of the building. Sale of the building will not go. It will be there in the receipts and payments. But the profit made on the sale of building will go to income and expenditure account. Correct answer is option C. Next one. The amount or property received by a non-profit organization as stated by the will of a deceased person is commonly referred to as A. Donation B. Endowment C. Honorarium and D. Legacy The will of a person is a legacy. An endowment is more like a gift or a grant. Honorarium is a token salary. A donation is a, is a kind of grant, an amount, of, amount which is given by somebody as donation free of charge for the general use and activities of the NPO of the non-profit organization. So the correct answer, the amount of property received by a non-profit organization as stated by the will of a deceased person is a legacy. Answer D. Next, a club paid rent of 14,000, 2,000 out of which 2,000 is prepaid. In such a case, A, income account is debited with 14,000. B. Income account is debited with 12,000. C. 2,000 is shown as current asset. D. Both B and C above. Rent paid 14,000. Out of 14,000, 2,000 is prepaid. If 2,000 is prepaid, our actual expense is only 12,000. And what is 2,000? 2,000 has been paid in advance. It is an asset. So 2,000 is the asset. 12,000 is the expense. Let us see what it says. Income account is debited with 14,000 is wrong. It is debited with 12,000 is correct. 2,000 is an asset. That is also correct. Therefore, your correct option should be D, both B and C. Correct option B and C. Next. Revenues affect net income. Revenues affect net income A. In the period during which they are earned. B. In the period when they are collected. C. In the period when they are accounted for. And D. Any of the above three which occur first. Revenues affect income in the period during which they are earned. During which they are earned. In which they are collected is a receipt. It goes to receipts and payments or cash. They are accounted for. No, you, if you make a wrong accounting, it does not mean it will be recognized as income. Therefore, the correct answer is it affects the net income in the period during which they are earned. That is option A. Next, from the following details, ascertain net profit of ABC Club for the period ending under accrual system. We have net profit as per cash basis, 
10,750. Accrual subscription, opening 550, closing 450. Accrual subscription means subscription which is outstanding, which has been earned but not received. Subscription received in advance is 250 and 100. Salary outstanding 350. Rent repaid is 600 and 150. So this profit is on cash basis, on actual receipt of income and actual payment of expense irrespective of whether it relates to the current year or not. So what are we supposed to find out? You are supposed to find out what it should be under accrual basis. So how do we do accrual basis? We want to find out the actual income and expense for the current year. So let us look at this accrual, subscription accrued. That is what outstanding subscription, subscription earned but not received was 550 open. So 550 we had earned last year. Outstanding as of last year, earned last year but not received in the what not received opening, but we must have received it here and therefore it must be included in this. This should be deducted. So less opening accrued subscription, 550. But subscription at the end of the year, this 450 which is there, that is subscription which is at the end of the year. That is an Income for the current year, we need to add it, not received, not included here. So we add the closing accrued subscription of 450. So we will get 10,650 after adjustment of subscription. What happens to subscription received in advance? Last year we received 250 subscription in advance. That is actually income for the current year. Add opening subscription in advance. How much is that? 250. And this year we received 100 rupees which actually relates to the next year. Let us remove that. Closing subscription in advance. So subscription has been taken care of. How much do we get here? 10,800. Salaries outstanding 350. Uh, salaries outstanding. Mind you, salary is an expense item and we are starting with profit. So, if it is a salary expense for the current year, your profits are going to come down. If it is the, if the expense is reduced, your profit will go up. So, to be a little careful when we do this, salary is outstanding, opening is 300. That means this salary is expense related to last year. But it was not paid last year, so it must have been paid this year. If it was paid this year, your cash net profit here stands reduced by that amount. Stands reduced by that amount. So let us add it back. Opening outstanding salary of 300. What happens to salaries outstanding at the end of the year? Salaries outstanding at the end of the year is an expense. It should be added to the salary expense. Added to salary expense or reduced from profit. Reduced from profit. Prepaid rent. Again, expense item. If expense item, we are relating to profit. We have to be a little alert. 
prepaid rent what has happened with prepaid rent 600 was opening prepaid rent that means 600 actually related to an expense for the current year 600 rupees prepaid rent opening related to the current year if it is a current year expense it has not come here this receipts this net profit stands inflated because it has not been treated as an expense therefore let us reduce this less opening prepaid why is this being done? Because it was prepaid rent, it was paid last year, but it is an expense for this year. If it is an expense for this year, it should be added to the expense account or and therefore reduced from the profits. What about prepaid rent at the end of the year? Prepaid rent at the end of the year is not an expense for the current year. It's an expense for the next year. Let's reduce it from expense or add it to profit. Add to profit. Closing prepaid expense. 150. Therefore, what do we get? Minus 350. This should come to 10,600. Therefore, the correct option should be B. 10,000. 600, 10,600. Endowment fund received by a club is a revenue receipt, B, capital receipt, C, advance payment, and D, revenue payment. Endowment fund received by a club. Endowment fund is a capital receipt. Correct answer is B, capital receipt. B. Assuming this is C. Next. The capital of a non-profit organization is generally known as equity, accumulated fund, finance reserve or cash fund. A. Equity. B. Accumulated fund. C. Finance reserve. D. Cash fund. Capital. It is known as accumulated fund. We don't have capital as such in a non-profit organization. It is called accumulated fund. The income and expenditure account of a non-profit organization is A. Nominal account B. Real account C. Income statement account D. Financial account Income and expenditure account is a nominal account. It has revenues and expenses. The correct answer is A, nominal account. Subscription received in advance by a not-for-profit concern is. Subscription received in advance is an asset, is an income, is a liability, is an expense. Subscription received in advance is a liability. Subscription is an income. Subscription received in advance is a liability. <clears throat> Subscription which is earned not received is an asset. So in this case, the correct answer is C. Subscription received in advance is a liability. Which of the following is the accounting equation for a not-for-profit organization? A. Asset is equal to capital plus liabilities. Accumulated fund is equal to asset minus liabilities. C. Liability is equal to asset plus capital fund. D. Asset plus liabilities is equal to general fund. Asset minus liabilities is equal to capital in a profit organization and it is equal to accumulated fund in a non-profit organization. Asset equal to capital plus liabilities is for a profit organization. This is would be wrong and asset plus liabilities equal to general fund would also be wrong. 
Therefore, accumulated fund is equal to asset minus liabilities. Asset minus liabilities is capital for a profit organization and for a non-profit organization, it is either accumulated fund or general fund or capital fund. So, the correct answer is B.